Today, Kevin is going to put together this, uh, it's, they, I don't know how they, uh, what the name of it is. It's, uh, a, like a cabinet. It's a storage cabinet. He's it's gonna put it together. Italy. It's made in Italy. It is from Ikea. It's 18351. I guess that's how you look it up at Ikea. And is that the only picture there is? Yeah, that's literally the only picture. So he's going to put this together. It is heavy. Yeah, it's definitely not a lot. And uh, so I'll show you how it looks as he opens the box. So he's opening the box and this is how it looks. You have to ignore the stuff in the background. This is how it looks. It'll be a nice cabinet. And she chose black, it looks like. You have to ignore the stuff in the background is what I'm saying because we're putting other stuff together and I've had to have my vacuum cleaner out to clean up. So right now, as Kevin always does, he will take this out piece by piece and lay it out on the floor. And then when we come back, uh, you'll see all those pieces laid out and just so you I'm know, just gonna say, it comes like this. I like this much better than foam. Not only does it, is it not break into a million pieces, it doesn't make a mess. It holds things together better. Use yeah. this instead of foam. That, and I can recycle this. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we can't recycle the foam. So other manufacturers, please take note. Yeah, but it looks like the parts are all over to one side. I don't see um, the little pieces. I don't see them labeled. Hopefully they'll be labeled. <laughs> well, it's a square box. <laughs> well, not square, but you know what I mean. Rectangular box. All right, I got everything sorted out, made sure I counted everything. My only complaint is they don't have each panel like labeled, but they've got pretty decent pictures of what they look like. So if you lay them out according to the pictures, you should be okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put these two bracket things on and they go way down here at the end. Over there. There. And they use these little, like, big fat flat screws. They don't have names for anything, so that's just what I'm going to call them. Yeah. And they go in the, the ones on the very edge. Hey, right, put those tightened up. My other screwdriver was too pointy, so I had to get one that was a little flatter. Um, okay, next is these. Um, these four like plus sign looking things. Yeah, I was going to say, did I do this right? I did. Um, these go on. I'm saying really the pictures aren't that great sometimes. Okay, I got the plus things on there and uh, the picture is not real clear. We're debating. Tammy thinks this one turns the other way. I think it goes that way. Uh, we'll probably find out later. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But it takes these, just these um, silver headed screws, these silver screws. There were the one that was there were 16 of them that it takes um what two four six, eight of these and i think it's interesting this has no written directions at all it's all pictures that's probably why people make fun of ikea furniture a little bit is because the putting it together because there's no directions it's just pictures Which so, honestly, pictures are fine for me. What? So there's two at the bottom, two at one end, and yeah, then two more at two the more other at the end. Bottom. Okay, okay. So these go in a different spot. Yeah, there's a, like a little square here. These go below that. Okay, the next thing you need are these six um, tall standoffs gray things and one goes um one goes on the very outside at the top right here and then the other ones there's a box here it goes in this one and in this one and then the same thing on the other side 
One goes in here. One goes in here. And then one goes on the outside. So I'm going to tighten these up. Hey, I just moved these are this how it was. I just moved one to the side. This one you just set upright just like this. This is the bottom. And, or I'm assuming it's the bottom. Could be the top. But the finished side of this is to the floor. So you want the finished side of that one to the floor. And you want these little wooden dowels. You need two of them. And they go... Um, here... And here. It's right in line with uh, with these pegs, and I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to tap these down. Yes, that's not the appropriate tool, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then you slide these in the slots. Make sure. Yep. And then uh, on the and they're also gonna go ahead and put two wooden dowels in this side that doesn't go in that hole, just in the in the end. Because there's this one goes to the big hole, this one just goes to this the small one. And we'll just leave those right there. All right. Now we're gonna get these two of these plastic things, and we're gonna put them in back here. And you can see there's an open side that's going to slide in the hole and then you're going to take a flathead screwdriver and turn them like this. And they've also got an arrow right there. So I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to go ahead and do both of them. And then we're going to take our screwdriver and tighten them up. It's not really tightening them, it's just uh, locking them in just like that. So, uh, let's see what part we get next. Okay, you get the skinnier of the two narrow pieces, if that makes any sense. If you were taking this apart, the other one's over there, it's fat. You see, it's water. This is the skinnier one. And you're just going to put these little dowel rods in each end. And I'm just going to use my inappropriate tool to tap these in. And since this is um, the finished sides down again, the unfinished sides up, you're going to put this side down towards the floor. And just slide it in place. Just like that. All right, now I've got the wider of the two skinny ones. I'm going to put a dowel pin not in the fat hole, but in the other one. And again, since this is the finished side down, you're going to put this in just like this. And then I'm going to get one of these little black things and drop it in there and tighten it up or lock it in. Okay. And then we're basically going to do, if, I'm, if I had to guess, we're going to do the same thing on the other side now. Yeah. Now we're just going to take that side and, and set it up and we're going to lock it all in there with these uh, these black lock things on this one and there and the one underneath here. Okay. Got Tammy to help me. It wasn't desperately necessary but you, it helps to have a little bit of help lining things up. So basically you're just going to slide it all together. And the same thing down here. And then on this side, make hey, Tammy get up and come around here. <laughs> You've got um, three of these cams. You've got one here. You've got one at the top. And there's one hidden underneath down here, and you can fill it with your finger. Just don't forget that one. And then you just tighten them to lock them in place. Hey, 
Next step is to put, uh, I guess this is, I don't know, the top maybe? I don't know. Um, what you need is four of these gray plugs and they're going to go into the outside edges. So you need to put them in the outside screw holes. And then you're going to put these dowel pins in the other holes there and there. This goes here. This goes here. Dowel pig, dowel rod, pin, whatever you want to call it, right there and there. So. And the only reason, the only way you determined this was the right piece is because of the holes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the other, the other two pieces that aren't doors don't have holes in them at all. So this one has holes on the end. It has holes on the inside too, but I don't think they actually go to anything. I think it's maybe, maybe if you had a different piece of furniture, maybe this is the same, um, maybe they reuse the same parts for multiple pieces or something. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. It looks like it would have something going up the middle, but there's nothing else. Well, actually one of those might go. I don't know. We'll figure it out as, as we get there. I haven't got that far in the directions yet. So those will go in there. And again, unfinished side, the unfinished side, and this also has the, the little notch, just like these do, and the finished side is down. So we're gonna slide this in. And yeah, I'll have to pick it up. And you have four of these little black lock things. And they're gonna go arrow towards the, towards the top. Lock off four of them in place. And I think the next piece is the back. All right, now for the backing. And the backing looks like this is just a folded up piece of like chipboard. And there's a dark side and a light side. The dark side goes towards the inside of the cabinet. And these holes line up with these brackets right here. And I think that's so you can attach it to the wall. Matter of fact, they show, they show a picture that you should attach it to the wall um, on there. So basically you're gonna lay this on this gap sitting around here. And I think Ikea for giving me a little tool, which is a brilliant idea. Here's the nails you're gonna nail them in with. They give you this little black tool right here to where you put your nails in here and you put this against the edge and when you're hammering it in your fingers aren't normally my fingers are like holding this this is cool you get it started just pop it out Pretty cool little trick. So how many of those nails do you have to put in the side? There are, I don't know how many nails. And it probably says in the directions that I ain't got that far. I'm just gonna do the corners real quick and then I'll look. Okay. So let me do the corners, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the two top corners and the two edges down here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do four, counting that one on the edge, you're gonna do four here, four here, four on the top, four on that side, and you're gonna do five on each side. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Okay, I got the back on. Um, I came with a few extra nails, so I just kinda spread them out along the edges, whatever. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these little rubber 
these little plastic rubber, they're plastic feet. You just basically sit them in the little holes and actually they need. Sitting so may need to tap them in. They just slid right in. Okay, now it's ready to be set up. I'll show you two things though. Um, these long screws are. So anyway, these uh, these long screws, the four long screws, and these two square pieces, and technically these plastic pieces, which I'll probably still use these to cover up the other ones. Um, they're made to where if you want to bolt, which you should for safety's sake, uh, mount this to the wall. So when you put it find where you want it to go, what you do is. Uh, and it's got really good directions for it, but you set this up. And in the back, you can see these holes right back here. Uh, and you can see those holes. You're going to put the screws, um, start them through that hole, and then you're going to put these like in front of it and tighten it up to where it, it holds it, pushes it against there. And then these two little black things just slide over. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is the doors. So I've just got them laid out like they picture them with the big, these big holes point outwards. And these are your hinges. And you can see they've got this like part stuck out of them that literally just goes in the hole right there. So I'm gonna do these two and then I'll go down there and do those two. And you put um, just two screws. And each one. And just in case I didn't say it, I don't recommend you use hand, I mean, uh, power tools for this because what happens is you, uh, it over torques things and ends up pulling stuff out of the wood. Just use a hand screwdriver. They've already got the holes pre drilled, so, um, so you don't need to fight with them too bad. You see, I'm, it's not taking me too much effort to to put the screws in. So I'm going to do this for the other three and I'll be back. All right, finish the hinges. Notice um, on the inside, remember I said I didn't know which direction they went. The, the cutout part goes towards the front and the one with the screw goes, or I'm sorry, don't put backwards. Yeah, the cutout part goes towards the front. So I'm going to take both of these off and flip them around and point the, the cutout to the front, which means when you had this on the floor, um, I can't think of which way we went. Anyway, they go away from the, they point towards the edge, not away from the edge. So there you go. Okay, I got them flipped over. Again, the, the open edges go to the front. That's the only way it works. Now these hinges, they have, um, here's the deal with them. You've got a screw back here that has a little notch, and you've got this slide plate right here. This piece goes over that screw right there, and then that back screw slides in this little slot right here. So it sounds a lot worse than it is. In reality, you just slide them on. And just kind of make sure they're flat when you're sliding them on, and they slide right in. And then tighten the back screw. pushing them all the way back. I may need to adjust them, but, um, but that's, that comes later. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Yeah. Actually, um, I want to make sure my height is right, and then I'll actually um, tighten these up. Which um, I just let them sit right there at the bottom and just tighten these up. And if I need to adjust one one door up or down a little bit, I can loosen these up and raise it and lower it. Um, 
that just a little bit. Okay, you can see there's a gap. The height is okay. I'm fine with the height, but there's a big old gap in here. You don't want that. So what you do is, um, for the adjustments, and I'll show you, and it, like I said, it documents it pretty decent in here, but if the doors are just up and down, you're going to adjust the two screws um, on the hinges going into the wood. If you want to adjust like forward and backwards, like how far out they stick, that's the back screw. You would slide them in and out. For adjusting side to side, like how far they're like this, that is that front screw. And it really doesn't say which direction goes which way. Um, I mean, which, which way you turn it to do something. So I think if you tighten it up, it moves it that. Okay, so I'm going to loosen that, that looks like. Let me see if I did anything. No. Okay, let me go the other direction then. Because they're all the way out right now. Yeah, that's definitely helped. So I may go all the way in with them and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, so I've tightened them all the way up on both sides. You can see now I'm too far. But if, if you feel the edges, this one seems like it's in further than this one. So I'm gonna loosen these up just a little bit more. Let's see when I get my screwdriver on there. That's perfect, isn't it? Inside needs to go. Oh yeah, that's great. Yep. Okay. Um, I told you earlier. I told you a fib. Um, I told you these four uh, long screws were for um, mounting it to the wall. They're not. They're mounting. The mount handles on here is what they're for. So. Um, step was that. So you have to use your own screws for the wall? For the wall, yeah. You have to use your own mounting screws for the wall. So these are the handles. And of course there's two of them. And they're going to go just like this. With a cup side out so you can grab them. And then the screws are just going to go through the hole in the back so they just slide right through and there's pre-drilled holes in the back of the handle so just line them up and finger tighten them a little bit at first and then we'll get the screwdriver and tighten them all the way up so i do this for the for the other ones and then you get these little yeah these little rubber dots basically and they are going to go um oh you got to These little uh, plastic things cover the holes in the bottom. These little black, these little holes are here. You put the little black ones in the bottom, and then, uh, or you put the white ones in if you have white. And um, um, the shelves use these. They look like little thumbtacks, but they just go. Um, they just slide in like that, and you lay your shelf in there. And then these little rubber things, uh, I thought I had a picture of what they in. Yeah, they just go um, down here on the door and up here on the door. So the top, the top corner and the bottom corner, just to keep it from bumping, and you just peel them off and stick them on. And they do give you two extra ones. So you do have a couple extra ones just in case you, uh, one falls off or you lose it or whatever. So I'm going to get the handles on, and then I'll be back pretty much be done at that point. Okay, I got the handles on. You can see that's what they look like. Uh, and the door should be pretty even still. Perfect, I think. And if I need to close up, I don't think I need to close up anything. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I put the, the little pins in um, for the shelves. And I just put them in there, um, you know, wherever. And then the shelves, of course, there's an unfinished side, so they go to the back. And these little cutouts, that's where those little pins sit. 
And I bet you have to go at an angle in here. Let me guess. Sits in those little grooves. And then the other one. They're adjustable, of course, you can adjust them up and down and stuff, and that's what the final cabinet looks like.